Hi everyone, so recently I made a video about Cryos course and the features that it has and uh, many other things and a lot of people were asking me to have a look inside the course. You know, a lot of people wanted to see what the course has from the inside, like whether the classes are there, whether they are live or recorded, what happens if you miss a class, how do the lectures proceed, whether they are test or not, how do people get referral. So people wanted to know a lot of things and they wanted to see the inside of the course properly. So here's what we're going to do. I have a proper course of cryo here. So my friend had this course. I asked him for access so that I could show you the course from inside. So we're going to take a look at this course. We're going to see in details the insights of the course, everything like how do the lectures proceed, what happens if you get a doubt, like how do you get referrals, how do you get interviews and everything in between. So let's get started. So this is the home page that you see once you're into the course. So you can see on the top itself, it shows you the upcoming session. So it shows you that the next session is on 5.28 at 8.30 p.m. It shows you that you can join it using this link. It shows you that it is for Java. Likewise, other things that you have, it will show you the session for that course. So you have these options, your fellowship in software development, which is having React plus Node.js, and then you have Java with Spring Boot, you have React with Spring Boot. So I can take any of this course. Let's take, for example, the full stack course that I talked about in my previous video. Let's see everything in this course, what all has it has. So you can see here, you have first thing, you have a sprint sequence. So like I said, Cryo has a very like work based approach where instead of just learning theoretical things, you'll be building things. And what do you have in a company? So if you work in a professional company, you'll be having sprints there. You will be given tasks to do. You'll have a sprint manager who will be taking your updates. So they have the same, the similar stuff over here where you have sprints. So you can see they have sprint. They shows the sprint that you've completed. You can go into the sprint board. It can, it will show you whether you fell short of anything. It will show you the issue that you had. So all of these things are there here. It also shows you your subscription detail. So all of the Spin details are here. So you can see that it goes something like this. January, you have spin 1, spin 2, spin 3, then in February, then in March, then in May, and here you get the referrals. So we'll take a look in here that uh, how the referrals go. We'll take a look in here in a while. So now let's take a look at spin board to understand what happens in a sprint and answer the question of what happens if you suppose miss a class or miss a session, what can you do? So let's go into the sprint board, which we have. So you can see this is the sprint board where it shows you the session in case if you miss a class then you have the option of watching the recording. So you can watch the recording, you have a Q&A session, regular Q&A session where you can ask to the person, the mentor in charge if you have any kind of doubts, you have regular sprints, you have regular Q&A session, all of these things are there. The recording will be there for everything. So in case if you miss a session there's no need to worry, you can just look at the recording. And apart from the uh, sprint board, you can see that you have different modules here. So modules is where you have the study material. So there's a lot of study material here. You can see that here, this is the first module, which is deconstructing the web. So this is a full stack web development course, like I said. So it teaches you everything about full stack web development, right from the basics. So you can see this is the like first part, the introduction, which is just understanding how the web works. So you can see you have a lot of things, you have background, then you have milestone. So milestone, you have certain things like deconstructing a web page. It shows, it gives you to-do activity, like what you can do to understand it even more. So a lot of things are there, which you can use to learn things yourself. They have recorded videos for you to understand things better. This is apart from the sprint item. This is modules for your own learning, which you can do to learn everything pretty properly. Likewise, you can go to the next module and you can understand things better, everything about full stack web development. Now, everyone knows that the world of software development is not complete without problem solving. Whether you go for interviews, no matter what you go for, you'll need to do problem solving. You'll be asked DSA problems. You'll be asked various, you know, problems which are of good level. So you all obviously you need to practice problem solving as well, apart from full stack web development. So Cryo also gets that covered. There's a section for problem solving. There's a complete section for problem solving, which is a DSA playground. So they have a DSA playground, which you can use to sharpen up your DSA skills. 
they have a majority of problems that keep on getting unlocked they have various problems you can search a problem you can search a problem by a tag if you want a linked list problem if you want a array problem if you want a string problem it also shows you the status whether the problem you have solved whether it's incomplete so it shows you all of these things it's a complete playground where you get variety of problems it keeps on getting unlocked for you to practice your problem solving skills so they have that covered as well you have the complete playground and you have all these uh, order also so it starts from array binary search bit manipulation then it goes to greedy problem heap so all of these thing recursion backtracking so they've covered pretty much everything that is there regarding dsa as well so it's not just full stack web development but they cover every part of dsa along with that so like i said cryo makes you focus on building things they make you learn by working on things by building projects and stuff like that and you have your own workspace for that so let's see the workspace that you get. So there's an entire workspace which is dedicated to you personally. So you have this like a virtual workspace where you can do all of your work. So you have pretty much everything. If you want to create a project, you want to create a new project. It's also according to the module. So if you want to work on a particular module, you have that as well. For every module that you have, you can use this workspace to build project. And like I said, you have multiple great projects. You have projects like... Uh, uh, social network, restaurant rating, stock exchange, to-do list, vehicle rental, commerce website, e-commerce website, meme website, shortening URL, you have multiple, multiple endless projects that you'll be working on that you can work on this workspace. So you have all these things, you have regular sprints where they teach you building things live, you have modules for your self-learning, you have a workspace where you can build things live and see things in action, see your code in action. You have a DSA playground where you can solve multiple DSA problems. But what about the main thing? The main thing which I know majority of you would be interested in is how do Cryo handle placements? Like I mentioned in my previous video, Cryo has 900 plus hiring partners. They have a pretty fantastic placement rate. They have the highest package of 44 LPA and a 100% placement guarantee as well. So how do they handle the placement things? So they have an entire option for that. You have career services where you can see various things. It will show you cryo referrals. It will show you the opportunities that you have. So you have these multiple things. You can even search by company if you want to apply for a particular company. It shows you opt-ins, which are a strong, which for which you're a strong match. For example, it shows wake fit as D1, 30 to 30 LP. You're a strong match for this. It shows you this uh, Tata LC, it shows you Tata LC is D1, which is 9 to 12 LPA. It shows you whether it's in office, whether it's hybrid. So all of these things are there. For example, for this, the profile was shared. For this, it is in process. So you can share your profile. And once it gets shortlisted, you can apply an in interview directly to the company via Cryo. And then in the interview section, it will show you, it will show you for which you are at interview stage. So you can see for this, the interview stage is there. And in the offer area, it shows you the companies that have offered you a placement. So it shows you that this person got a offer from shop deck at SBE1 for 16 to 20 LPA via cryo. So they had gotten this opportunity via cryo. They applied and directly they got to the interviews. They were able to clear it and they got this amazing package. It also shows you rejects. So this shows you the places where you got rejected. For example, this person got rejected in the Misho like SD1 interview and then it, if you click on it, it will also show you the possible reasons that you might have gotten rejected so that you can do better from next time. And then you can have archive, you have assisted apply, where you have multiple companies that you can choose from, you can apply from here and then it shows you the applied, the companies that you applied for, the offers that you've gotten. So various things are there. So the struggle of finding companies to apply or the struggle of basically finding opportunities ends with cryo because you can apply directly from here like i showed you guys and you can pretty much get a very good offer from here as well like you can see from the person that has this also one more thing if you ever get stuck then you have a great community at cryo apart from the community you have a technical expert who's available 24 7 so suppose you're working in the middle of the night at 1 a.m 2 a.m 3 a.m and you have a doubt which you want an answer for then directly you can reach out to the technical expert who's available 24 7. So there's an option in the bottom right corner where you can directly chat with the uh, technical expert 
in any time 24 7 the person is available apart from that you also have a community where people share multiple things people can you know interact with each other people share interview questions articles and other knowledge materials so it's a great community that you have who you're working with and apart from all of this you also have activities at cryo so you can do various activities which will help you learn so you can see in the activities area you have multiple activities sometimes you have something like implementing a menu button using CSS, sometimes you have a coding problem like remove duplicate, sometimes you have an implementation like implementing a card layout using Plexbox. So all of these things are there which helps you learn in a fun way. So it might be a DSA problem, it might be a quiz, it might be a live sandbox kind of thing where you have to implement a feature. All of these things are there which will make learning fun for you. It has various small, small, small projects which helps you learn particular features of full stack development in a nice way. So you have all these things, you have continuous learning, you have building projects, you have regular sprints, you have mock interviews, you have system design, you have pretty much everything that you need, you know, in order to crack your dream company. And all of it helps you build up your portfolio. You also have a portfolio in Cryo, like I showed you in my previous video. It also helps you make a pretty good resume that you can share directly with the interview. So all of these features are there and you can try it out for yourself. You can see how it's like, you can see the videos, you can try it out before taking the course. So I'll give a link in the description for the free trial. You can just click on the link, go to the free trial, book it and see for yourself whether the course is compatible with you or not. So you can click the link in the description and book the free trial to check the course, experience this yourself. And if you have any other doubts, then feel free to leave a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. So thanks for watching.